Hi everyone, what is up? My name is Haley. Welcome to my YouTube video or YouTube channel. Mm. If you did not know, now you do. Hey you guys, what's up? So I have to get a drink of water because my throat is... <clears throat> so in today's video, y'all, hey, how you doing? I'm going to be talking about some comments that, you know, have been flooding my YouTube comment section for a while now. I've been getting a bunch of comments talking about my weight, talking about how tired I look, talking about how stressed I looked, and I just wanted to address all that and give you guys a little backstory, current story, future story, and all that good stuff to maybe put this into perspective for some people that this concerns. I've had to block um, fat, you've gotten fat, you've gained weight. I've had to block that from my YouTube channel because I've gotten so many comments addressing this and they're all in a very nasty, negative tone. It's okay when people are concerned. I usually don't care about those comments and people are asking me if I'm okay. That's usually fine. But when it comes to like bullying or body shaming or something like that, I usually just erase it from my channel because not only is it hurtful to myself, I'm sorry if I touch my microphone, it's hurtful to other people as well that might not have as thick a skin as I do and read something like that and take it really personal. A lot of you guys know me from 2000, I'm trying to think 2016 to 2018-19-ish. I feel like that's where the majority of people came from when watching my videos and you guys knew me at a relatively smaller size than I am now. I mean I don't know how much weight I have gained probably like 30 ish pounds so to say in the course of three to four years which I think you know looking over four years 10 pounds a year it's not horrible but when looking at like the bigger picture and comparing myself it is a big difference but I wanted to talk about you know just from 2016 to 2020 what has happened into my in my life that might have an impact on that and also it'll answer a lot of y'all's questions that probably don't know that much about me personally I think it's very important for me to say that right before I came to Germany I went through a very bad breakup which led me to be very skinny or smaller than I was I was one time really small and then like I got into this normal phase and then I went through this breakup and I was relatively skinny so when I came to Germany I was already small and for my body type it was small but for a lot of other people if I were to say how much I weighed you'd be like oh wow that's still a lot of weight because a I'm a big person and for me skinniness looks a lot different than on other people when I started coming to Germany I was very stressed very nerve wracked uh, my nerves were racked because I was in a foreign country um, I wasn't dealing I guess with the best situation coming to Germany I had a lot of fun I liked it a lot but you know 2015 I would say February 2015 until August of 2015 was very hard for me adapting and also the fact that um, I had to find a new family like an au pair family that was very hard too so then going in from like the end of 2015 to the end of 2016 maybe or middle of 2016 um, I was doing a lot there were some times where I'd work 12 hours a day and then I would have to try to keep a social life try to go to the gym for an hour or two hours which I was very consistent with doing and I was very good at these things I juggled them I think relatively well for me being young being me being in a foreign country and I think I was doing okay but I was very stressed during that time the side that you see me from 2016 to let's say 2017 ish I was going through a lot and then Mike came into the picture and usually when you're in a relationship you gain weight it's called the happiness weight I just call it the food weight because you're going out to eat more I don't know you just eat a lot for, for me I have other <laughs> responsibilities I get not responsible I have other priorities um, regarding what I put as the importance to Haley but yeah it was still going to the gym I was relatively in physically good shape I think for my opinion and then fast forward a little bit forward from that I had surgery and the surgery wasn't anything too crazy it was um, very easy surgery I have no complaints it was like not long not horrible it was the aftermath though of what it did to my body my stomach afterwards never really went back to the form that it was before and on top of not being able to work out for two to three weeks um, I guess I just went into like this little slow motivational decline where I didn't want to work out anymore I had no interest of working out anymore and even when I did work out I noticed that my stomach 
due to the surgery that I had wasn't really going back to the way it was supposed to look. Some people say that that has nothing to do with your surgery. That type of surgery doesn't do anything. But for me, I can honestly say um, after a few months, it just wasn't like how it was before. Even with eating okay, working out, it was still not the same. So that took a really big hit on my, I guess, mental state regarding my body, not even my body, just like working out and not wanting to do it anymore. <laughs> and then moving forward, I think Mike and I, we had this bright idea. I had this bright idea that I wanted to travel more. And I had this amazing opportunity to go to Bali. I had to go to Australia. I had money saved and we went. If you guys do not know when I went to Bali and I'm pretty sure it was 2017 or 2018. I always get my years wrong <laughs> chronologically logically though we went to Bali on the second day I got attacked by a monkey got bit by a monkey and then I went to the doctor to you know get medicine for my monkey bite and try to figure out what was gonna happen and they didn't have any medicine on the whole island for me so my options were either fly to another country fly to another island or go back to Germany and at that time I was so stressed I didn't want to be there anymore that I just went back to Germany and threw I guess my plan in the fire and when I got back to Germany I was very happy you know healthy happy Haley but I was also very depressed that I threw away Bali and Australia and this amazing opportunity that I had for myself. We tried it again, you know, we were like, we're gonna get back into it and have fun. And in Australia, I think I realized then that I was slowly gaining more weight, but you know, I tried to do something about it. Mike and I, we were going to gyms there. Um, we had this plan of what we were doing or what we were going to do. And then bam, you know, very last minute, very um, flip of the coin, we came back to Germany and it wasn't supposed to be like that. And then when we came back to Germany on top of all that, um, I was having this internal struggle of what to do with my life and also not being able to stay in Germany any longer. So I had to go back to the United States. <laughs> so when I went to um, the United States, I didn't join a gym because I didn't know how long I was staying in the United States and I was also traveling back and forth between the United States and Germany. I started doing other things like walking or running and that was decent. I mean, it fulfilled its purpose, but it wasn't the same as, you know, Haley, you're eating the same amount of food that you were eating while working out and doing heavy lifting and all this stuff, but you're not burning, I guess, as many calories or being as active as you were before. So the end of 2018 is when um, another big shift of my life came. And then going into 2019, Mike and I, we had a lot of plans for our future. But if you guys, I don't think I've ever talked about this on my YouTube channel, 2019 was very hard um, because we were going through, jumping through a lot of hoops. We had a lot of logistics to try and figure out and just being able to get to 2020 was very stressful for us and we knew that it was going to be hard but we in our head made this commitment or we made this um I'm trying to think of the right word to say we made this promise that we were going to get through it and that it would all be okay and once 2020 hit 2020 was going to be our year and we get right back on track because 2019 we knew that we were going to have to be going back and forth again and you know the gym my weight problem that you know i'm constantly seeing or that i'm noticing more prevalent now um, it's still going to be a little bit more on the back burner and for some people you know it's very easy to say well you could have worked out you could have eaten better the very valid points very true but i just think that i had um, more priorities than physical well-being also health well-being as well because when you are gaining weight depending on how much you gain it can be something that's detrimental to your health but at the time it wasn't that bad for me and i still don't think that i'm like obese or anything i just think that i've gained some way. 2020 came you guys <laughs> and actually the end of 2019 came and I was so excited because I was going back to the United States. Mike was coming to the United States. I was really committed to you know finally starting focusing on myself and focusing on my fitness and focusing on my well-being my mental well-being when it came to fitness and i was so excited about that y'all middle beginning of december i got sick as most of you guys know this i was in the hospital and from that hospital visit i think it took me like two months to get back into the gym to be able to go outside and walk for even one kilometer without being out of breath without being miserable without being tired without having to sleep 12 hours a day um, it really took a toll on my body that hospital stay was horrible that sickness was horrible and my doctors also recommended that i do not work out for months i think it was the beginning of february i told mike that i was going to join the gym it might have even been january of some time 
time, but I think February was when I really decided I was going to join the gym. And I started going for around a month, I want to say, or two months. And then I, I think in March or April, they closed our gym down. They closed it down until May, but I didn't go back until June because I was scared about everything that was happening. But then in June, we found out that Mike wasn't going to stay. We were having immigration issues. And so july mike left and i stopped once mike left honestly i still went sometimes but i was depressed like literally sad heartbroken upset not with mike leaving or anything it's just the whole situation of when you look retrospectively of what's happening with your life and it not um leading up to your expectations it's very hard and it can really take a toll on you so for me i was eating very crappy like literally very crappy in the united states i wasn't physical in any way shape or form like not even going for walks not even stretching stuff little minimal things like this and so coming back to germany you know almost to the end of the story mike and i we told ourselves once I'm done with getting my paperwork situated and you know trying to organize the house a little bit nicer, nicely or nicer, um, we're gonna join the gym. And Mike wanted to because Mike also hasn't gone to the gym regularly like he used to in the past. And so we both made this like commitment and promise to each other that we were gonna join the gym together. We were gonna get back on track, have a better schedule. I literally think the day that we decided that, um, we said we're gonna go the next day to sign up. They said and announced that they were gonna shut the gyms come um, I think it was like the next week or something. I think that was like two or three weeks ago. I don't remember three or four weeks ago. I don't remember the exact time. And that's where I'm at right now. Um, I see the messages, you guys. I know that I've gained weight. And there's a lot of people, I wanna say like 90% of people are relatively kind and they don't leave comments like this, but for the 10% that do, it's not something that I don't see. You don't have to tell me. Um, I know that the weight is there. I know that um, I've been smaller, thinner, um, healthier even before, but um, at the same time, I don't think that my weight in that sense, like for physical aesthetic purposes, I don't think that it's like one of the top priorities for me. I think my health in general is a top priority for me, but how I look physically isn't really a top priority for my life right now. And when I see like my weight gain and like just looking at the past, I would say the past five years of my life, um, I've gone through a lot of ups and downs and my weight reflects that very easily. So you see me at a point in my life right now where I'm going through a lot like mentally, physically, emotionally, I'm stressed. Um, I think everybody is stressed right now and you're allowed to be stressed. Um, but the thing is like, I wouldn't go up to a normal person on the street that I seen or my neighbor and say, wow, you gained a lot of weight. I would never say something like that. Maybe you would and that's fine, but I just wouldn't do something like that. I don't just gain weight because I'm stressed or unhappy. I gain weight when I'm happy as well and when I feel comfortable. And so it's an endless little cycle of me trying to find the right balance in my life and I can't find that right now. I don't think I'm going to find it um, for the next couple of months, probably even a year. And I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. I have more important things to focus on, especially right now than um, caring if someone says that my belly or my thighs look big or my ass looks fatter. I constantly tell people that tell me, you know, don't say that you're fat because you're beautiful. And I say, well, I'm never not beautiful. I just know that I have extra weight. I never said that my fat was ugly. I just said that, you know, it needs to not be so much. I just wanted to give you guys a backstory because hopefully then you'll understand why and how I've gained weight. It's not just me sitting here hoping to gain weight. It's a bunch of tiny things that have, you know, added up to a few kilos here and there that have put me in the position that I am now. I will get there. I always do. I always pull through, push through, but yeah, um, that's it. Thank you so much. Stop telling people that they've gained weight because they most likely know and they're most likely struggling with a lot more than just eating a donut or something. So yeah, thank you so much for watching you guys and bye-bye.